Well, I, 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 I don't like to compare players, but um, to have two players that make such a significant impact on our team as those two guys, uh, I don't recall ever having a circumstance like that. We've had some great impact players, but um, never one on this on offense, one on defense of you know the caliber that these guys have been able to play uh, on a consistent basis. But I think probably bigger than that is the impact that they have on the players around them. Uh, these guys set a great example. Um, they're uh, players that other people on our team can emulate in a positive way because of the example that they set. Um, these guys are very serving to their teammates in terms of you know, they really do care about helping other people for their benefit. Um, so these guys have not only been great players, they've contributed from a leadership standpoint uh, probably as significantly as uh, any leaders that we've had. Uh, and we've had some really good leaders in our program and our organization. So um, really excited about having these guys on our team. You couldn't ask for two better people um, to um, – you know, I've always said that when the best players on your team are really good people with great attitude and great mindset, um, it's really helpful to develop in the kind of team chemistry that you need to um, have a successful team. Both Young and Anderson in the top 10 of the latest Heisman odds. Young plus 375 behind only C.J. Stroud, the quarterback at Ohio State. Will Anderson Jr. 40 to 1 to win the Heisman, the only defensive player you'll see here in the top 10. Our Dennis Dodd and Barrett Salee with the biggest questions for several SEC teams who have already met the media this week, Alabama included. And Dennis, Alabama seemingly has it all, both sides of the ball. But as you pointed out earlier today, Bryce Young was on his back a lot last season. Yeah, I think the biggest question for Alabama is keeping him clean this season. Alabama ha gave up 41 sacks last year. Two years ago, they were number one in the SEC, giving up only 12. And that's with an All-American high draft choice, Evan Neal, at left tackle. And they're trying to rebuild a little bit of that offensive line. They've got to keep him clean because I don't think it'll be as easy this year. No, it won't be as easy. And I think they've done some things to address it. They brought in a new offensive line coach. They got Tyler Steen, a graduate transfer from Vanderbilt. They have three returning offensive linemen the question is are they any good because in spring the spring game two years ago we saw a problem it was a huge problem last fall it was a problem in the spring game this year you don't want to take too much away from what happens in spring practice but this is a trend for Alabama and, and quite honestly Bryce Young doing what he did last year behind that group is a minor miracle so there's no doubt if Alabama is going to be a championship caliber team this year it, it's all on the offensive line do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.